Terve, Mina Wallen Joana Martins. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm the OLS and ACEOLOS talent coach. Um, I have a degree in sports science where I specialized in um, football coaching. I was in the last year of my master's degree um, in physical education teaching in the basic and secondary education where I was doing my internship when the opportunity to, to join the clubs uh, rose. Before I accept this opportunity, I was the head coach of two teams of girls, uh, one un under 10 and the other under 70, in a club called Academia Futebol Fnindo Eres. And in addition to that, I was also playing um, in the Women's First League in Portugal. So basically, the talent coach is the guardian of the talented players. So I'm my my principal task is to help them to reach their own top performance. I'm responsible for their lifestyle, including um, alimentation, hydration, rest and school. I have to identify their strengths and weaknesses to them to de develop them, because sometimes it can hinder their career development. So I have to work on that with them and um, in addition to that in that individual work I'm also working with the head coaches of Alls and I'm present in their team trainings and I help the players technically and tactically then I work with some of them also in the school trainings in the morning um, then I'm one of the coaches uh, responsible for the, um, the Aceolos Academy trainings also in the morning and that's basically the work that I do individual with the talented players and then I'm working also with the youngest teams but now with talented players I'm just starting I'm just trying to understand what are their goals what they want to do their habits to try to do a report to, to show them what they have to improve, um, to then pass to the, the, the trainings on the pitch. And um, that's basically that understand how, mu how much uh, physical education and physical activity they do to, to try to, to control that effort, to, to prevent some injuries, and basically that's to, to try to talk with the coaches that some players um, are with some muscle pain and we have to be attention to that. And in the weekend I see the games, then I see the games again and I make some video clips to send and to show uh, the players to them to see what they did, what they can do better and my main objective is to start to do some reports because sometimes I think that they don't understand what they did and I think that the video it's the best idea for them <coughs> to, to see what they did and uh, start a discussion for them to, to also express what they feel and what they thought about the games. So my philosophy, I don't like to put labels on the players because one player that is not so good now we don't know if one year later he can be the best and we don't know and we can separate the players because we can forget that the players are also persons and we can forget that they have also feelings and that they are there in the trainings because they like to play football and sometimes I think that we only think in the results, winning the games, and we forget that sometimes we are putting some players out. And um, as a player, I know that, and I know that it's something that will make them um, give up from football. And I think that as coaches, our first mission is to them to enjoy playing football to then to have um, a good lifestyle and a healthy lifestyle 
that's my philosophy. Basically, here in Aceolo and Olo, also I want that the players here, I want them to be the best, not only in the north of Finland, but in all Finland. That's my big goal for now, to improve them, to reach the top level and to be better in, in each day. That's my big goal. I think that being here is, is also a big goal and a big challenge. And for now, I think that that's all. Of course, that's, I like challenges and I like always to be best and to be in the best places and with the best roles. But I think that I'm good in what I'm doing. My dream. <laughs> of course, that I want to continue to do the football as a professional. Something that in Portugal was not possible. That's why I'm here. And of course, that I also have the, the dream to be a professional player. And that's, that's it. Professional player and professional coach.